Hi, I'm Kate. Hi, I'm Cheryl. And together, we are Fickle Stitches. Welcome to our channel. Good morning, people. It's Saturday. April. <laughs> First April Fool's Day. But we are not going to be an April Fool's channel. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Not my favorite day. <laughs> uh. So we are a channel about kind of cross stitch. Yes. And if she knows. Excuse me. You know what for flox tube this is? I don't. We are at number twenty. Ooh, look at us go. <laughs> Round numbers. Yes. Yes, we are are at episode twenty. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> How was your week this week? It was good. I've been on vacation all week. I was at retreat last weekend. Nice. And I had a wonderful time. Nice. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in the hall section, since that seems to be the appropriate section to put it in. Excellent. Miss, I'm only going to buy one needle minder. <laughs> was that your plan? That was my plan. I appreciate your optimism. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> there's something that happens at retreat. I think there's just pheromones in the air and it just, yeah. It's like me at a used bookstore. Yes. I'm like, I oh, I'm just, that one too. I'm just going to go get one. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah. Just one one. armload later, one full box later. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, exactly. They can't travel by themselves. No, they can't. They get lonely. Yes, exactly. So, well, there you go. Well, so, like I said, we're a, a channel about cross stitch. And so we're just going to jump right in. We're going to jump right in. Um, and we were running a giveaway. Yes. So today is the day. Yes. You compiled all the... I compiled all the entries. And we are um, going to draw for them live. <laughs> yes. So you can so, see this. and Yeah. The first one is ink circles after the roses. The keyword here was rose. Here's my little decision wheel. Nice. Very and nice. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Terry Mus Musatelli. Mus Terry Musatelli. Nice. You Congratulations. The rose. <clears throat> we will comment on people's comments to let them know they need to get in touch with us uh, so we can have their address so we can mail it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, please be over 18. <laughs> yes, please. Please, we don't want to get in trouble. Um, and we have an email account. Yes, we do. It, tell us about it, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. um, if you end up being a winner, um, if you could email your deets to us at ficklestitches at gmail.com. I'll, I'll run it along the bottom here as um, a banner. It's fickle stitches, which is all one word at gmail.com. It's pretty simple. Okay. Okie dokie. So we never said that you couldn't win more than one, so we're just going to let it slide because mm -hmm. a lot of people put in for all four. Yeah. And we do a lot of entries. So the next one is the stitching journal. Journal. From, yes. Um, stitching Cabin Co. I think so. Yes. Yes. Unused. Can be used for any year. So here is my journal decision wheel. There's nice. only three people only wanted that. So here we go. And Margaret. Margaret won. Yay! We know Margaret. That's why we're not I'm not saying Mar F ski. <laughs> Although you just did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Congratulations, Margaret. Yay, Margaret. I have your address, so I will send that to you. Don't worry about emailing. All right. 
This last one is Sabrina from Nora Corbett. Ooh, yes. And it is, the keyword was lady. And there were a fair amount of people for that. Excellent. And boop. Susie Q in Texas, I think that's what it is. Susie Q N T X. Yes. You have won the lady. So again, shoot us an email. Well, um, we'll find your comment and give you a little ding, 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 and um, shoot us an email. The last one is the one that Cheryl has, and it's the mystery from mystery thing from is it Lizzie Kate? It is Lizzie Kate, the site. Um, Things Unseen Mystery Sampler with the three patterns, the floss, and the super sparkly zhuzh. Okay. Just no fabric. No fabric. All right. So there was a, this was a very popular one. Uh-huh. And boop. <clears throat> Paula Davis. Yay. Well, that worked out very nicely. Well, congratulations, Paula, Susie, Margaret, and who was the first one? Terry. Terry. Yay! Thanks for playing, y'all. And I hate when floss tube makes me wait to the end to find <laughs> one. So that's why you guys are getting it up front. Yes. So thank you so much for everyone who left a comment and participated. Um, some of the comments were really funny as they strove to mush them all into a coherent sentence. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Um, and we uh, also appreciate um, just your participation and your watching. So that was kind of fun. Thank you so yeah. much. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for following us along this journey. Okay. What did we forget? I forgot something. Um, there was a comment question that um, EJ asked, and I was going to pull. She asked, um, "Do you want to talk about it right now?" Sorry. Sure. <laughs> I, just, I just thought about it. Sorry. Um, she asked me, out of all the starts that I've done so far for my birthday start along, which one is the one that I wish I could get finished. And I'm like, it's, it's only the end of March. Um, <laughs> but uh, then I said that I, I know she's coming in with the hard hitting questions. I know. She's so, a journalist, isn't she? No, she's a school teacher. But. Yeah, well, <laughs> November, December, January. Not November, just. March. Yeah, no, not just. Bless her heart. <laughs> um, so I've been doing this for five and a half months now. So it's a good chunk of what I've been working on. And um, I thought about it. Like, which ones would I like to have finished right now, right away, or be working on to finish right now, right away? And I had it narrowed down to two of the bigs. The smalls, I can see them getting done <laughs> fairly quickly. Um, but I had it narrowed down to the two, two of the bigger, bigger ones. And um, I think the first one that I had marked was um and i will place a picture in here of the one that we're talking about when i mention them the first one is um in the bleak midwinter by our friend bart Ooh. at park hopper park hopper bart designs and the reason why i would like to have that finished is because of um i have a lot of um meaning attached to that one and i really am looking forward when it gets done and um so i'll have a picture put up here so you know what i'm talking about and then i'm looking through i had a list on a sticky note and i think i left it at work <laughs> um oh i know and then the other one is the tis the season cardinal from the Blackbird Designs Home from the Holiday Booklet. Because that one's being done in silks and it is beautiful and it was so fun to stitch on. It, it was, it, it's going really nicely. And so those two I think are the top two contenders so far. 
But like I said, I'm this is only five months in and I still have until October to go. And honestly, like as I was looking through everything, I'm really happy with the stuff that I picked to work on so far. Um, I mean, there's been a couple of them that have been um, aggravating, like they had an aggravating point, like the um, the love and joy when I was doing the board. <laughs> but now that the border part is that was done, tough. oh, that was just, yeah. Um, black um, back stitching out in the wild. There's nothing. It was just, yeah, it was tricky. But now that that's done, and I started working on, like I put some of the needles in and whatever I'm enjoying. Um, but there's very few that I'm just like, mm, why did I choose this? So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I, I'm excited so far. So that was a great question, EJ. Thank you for asking that because I was like. So I went down memory lane <laughs> and all the pictures and I was like, oh, these are all so pretty. Which one would I choose? And so there you go. Thank you, EJ. Thank you, EJ. Shocker, they're both winter Christmas related. <laughs> I, I'm shocked. So, <laughs> so yeah, questions like that are fun. So p please feel free to throw some in there every once in a while just to keep us on our toes. Ooh. Sorry, Cinna just jumped in my lap and she is really, really warm. I think she was just laying in the sun. Oh, <laughs> she's solar powered. She is solar powered right now. <laughs> so why don't we start off with, I'm pretty sure I know this answer. Hey, Kate, you got a finish? I do. Yay. I do. It's only a page finish. Um, that I'm counts. Gonna, that's glory. That counts because you stitch mammoth things. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a full coverage too, so I'm gonna we're gonna celebrate the page finishes Heck along yeah. the way. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and switch you over. There we go. All right, so I had it's I had a page finish on Ravenclaw House. Nice. By Stitchery by MJ on sixteen count antique white using the called for DMCs. Don't laugh. It's a very small, skinny page finish. Yay! <laughs> to the chart is those small skinny pages, so I whipped one out. There's no shame. We celebrate it. I'm celebrating. That's correct. Very nice. I like the color the color combos on this. It's nice. Yeah. So very good. Two rows done. Moving on. And there's that much more to go. <gasps> oh, see, you know, you got to keep the illusion up, Kate. Come on now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no illusion here. Oh, <coughs> I was like, yes, oh. you're getting going. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's that? Did you need to stretch before floss tube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, honey, you can't lie on that because I need that. Because I need to tell the people that I stitched. Mm, so in the last two weeks, I stitched 320 stitches on Ravenclaw. So I had most of it done. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right. And then, can I talk about my new start before we talk about yours? Heck yes. Okay. Please do. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I started Rooks from Owl Forest. Yeah. In Boris. This is on a 16 count be stitch me Friday night fight night winner. Um, <clears throat> I started this at retreat and I have 432 stitches in all it. And here we are. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. There we go. Okay. Very nice. So the fabric's coming across a little bit brighter than it actually is. Mm -hmm. So over in this, nope, this section, yes. <laughs> there's going to be a church. So what I kind of, so a lot of that pinky stuff is going to be covered up. Gotcha. So I'm thinking it's going to look like a dawn sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, one little part of my haul is this cute little needle minder. 
that is an exclusive to the Crafty U, which was our pop-up shop at Retreat. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. So that was my only start. I have I have plans, but we'll talk about plans. Excellent. Later. Plans. My favorite. <laughs> Look at her. I, I know. She's just like, and I'm here. Yes. <laughs> Yes, she's very comfy. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> Girl, how many new starts. Do you have? Um, I'm still behind, but I was able to get four. Four started. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, straighten your glasses. Bro. I know. I was just like, uh, okay, get myself. Uh. There we go. So the first Ooh, one, that, what? That could be the, the, the name of the floss tube. Straighten your glasses. Straighten your glasses. Yeah. Um, okay. So the first one I did was a, um, directly because of you. And um, when I was in the process of choosing, I had this one as a possible until I saw your... Um, under the bed box list of things. And then I said, I want to do one of these because they look so good when they're done. So the first one that I'm going to show you is Sitting Pretty without the glare. There we go. Sitting Pretty by Barbara and Cheryl. This is an oldie but goodie. And I had this one in my collection for a long, 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 long time. And then after seeing all the ones that you had going, I was in. Uh, this is full coverage. And so I was able, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Oh, let's just do this. Okay. And drawn chart, correct? Uh, pre, yeah. Mm, I think it was done in 2004. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, but okay. So this is where I was able to get. This is more than 200 stitches. It looks teeny weeny because I'm doing it on 22 count hard hanger. <laughs> As you like small things. One over one. <laughs> so yeah, it was, even though we've got a number of colors in the middle of all that, it was really, it's one of, it's a clear chart to follow, which is nice. I'm gonna look now. Now you've got me intrigued. I can't remember if it was hand on or not. No, I think this one was actually, yeah, no, it's not. I think some of the earlier ones are hand. Yeah. So I just thought this was really pretty. Uh, I've mentioned before in previous videos that I used to work at um, the Stitchworks in Tulsa when it was a brick and mortar. And um, I went by, like, we would go by periodically and just make sure everything was neat and tidy. And I touched this one about 10 times. And I, and every time I touched it, I was like, that is so pretty. I want it. And I finally broke down and got it, but I never ever did anything about it. And then I saw all the ones that you did and I was like, I'm in, and this is going to make the cut. And so it did. And I'm glad because it's, um, I'm excited about it. It's going to look really great. Um, I started it. And like I said, it's one over one. It's all the DMC colors on 22 count hard anger. Yes. Okay. So then the next one is I usually go from a big um, start to a little. And so the next one was the next in the series of um, hometown holidays. This is number seven, which is the firehouse. Oh, look, a roof. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this out loud, and I don't want people to get mad at me, 
But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to put, whoops, where am I going with that? Pretty sure I'm not going to put the flagpole in. Or if I do, I need to figure out how to put another flagpole in to represent the fact that this is a dual citizen household. Mm -hmm. So I got to figure that out whether or not I'm going to do it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, like all the rest of them that I've been doing, this is on 40 count lamb's wool using the called for colors. One, oh, why do I think that, sorry, Kate. There we go. Don't apologize to me, apologize to them. I oh, know, sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> there, much better. Um, so there's how far I got. It's a roof. I got, it's a roof and half the 22. But again, um, that's deceptive. There's a lot of stitches in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am not deceived. <laughs> uh, okay, so then that one's done. So then the next one, I have uh, just, Lola Crow just makes me happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lola Crow designs. Low crow cross stitch at Etsy. Um, I just had to pull this one out for Moonlight Kraken, baby. So good. It's so, 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 good. so good. And I will say that I have the Christmas Kraken where it has the Christmas lights tangled in it. It's just, it. I can't. I can't with these. I can't with Lola Crow. It's just so good. And what I love about um, their designs is how much shading they get in with, like they're so good at shading. I just can't. Yeah. Okay, so I decided to do this one on, let me see, is it 20? Yes, it was 20 count black Ada because I love my eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> She says sarcastically. Um, and as you can see, oh, you know, it helps if I show it to y'all the right way. Right side up. Right side up. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. I mean, we are professional floss tubers here. Okay, here we go. There we are much Aww. no i still did it wrong no you didn't yes i did i totally did there we go there there we Which, go those men on the sea the ship are getting seasick from you flipping them around i and well i would think that the kraken had it all shook out before you know see look oh, see well, no, it likes the filling on the inside. <laughs> Sorry. <I know. laughs> it likes the filling on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh, that's funny. Okay. You know what? Holding it this way will be much easier. There we go. So this is how... Oh, there we go. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. There. There. It's a very nice ship in distress. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So on this one, I started because I was a hot. I wasn't a hundred percent sure in the dimensions on the fabric I cut. Um, I just said, well, I'm going to start in the middle and the ship is in the middle and okay. then go from there. So again, yeah. So it's. 20 count, one over one. And I'm chucking things all over the place. All right. And then the last one I was able to start in this little section of the program, again, is another one of the Hometown Holiday series. Part of what I'm doing is I wanted to start all of them. It's a collection I've had while well, I've been collecting it. Um, and I have them all. And I do want to make them into like a little village 
And so the next one on the list is the florist. There's no roof. Oh, this there is. Okay. It's a flat one. Ah. Uh, flat roof. Oh, got it now. And that those are the four gables. The four gables. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it was my um, hope and dream to get the gables done. <laughs> That's what I was working towards. So, again, this is on 40 count lamb's wall. Call for classic color works and DMC. And this is how much I got done. Pretty. Yeah. So it's going to be nice. Very pretty. Yeah. So there you go. So those are all my starts. Like I said, I'm a little bit behind in the schedule. I'm hoping to get caught up this weekend. And if not this week and next weekend, I have a couple of days off next week um, for um, that I took off for vacation for my husband's birthday. And also, um, our office closes on Good Friday, so I will have some extra time to stitch and, and try to get caught up if I'm not already caught up on my schedule. So that's the that's kind of the plan. What's okay. going on here? Oh, there we go. So those are all my starts. Yay! Yay! Indeed. How, how many whips do you have? You are asking very rude questions. Um, <laughs> no, how many whips have you stitched on? Oh, yes. oh, oh! And the, <laughs> oh, I have, um, I have three. I wasn't able to get very far on a fourth one. It's not worth showing. I'll show it next week when I put a little more time in it. I, I literally got like. 10 stitches in and then I had to rip them out and start again and then I got tired so I went to bed. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so show us your whips. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so where am I? I'm gonna leave it in the stand because it's just too much to take in and out. I got a little more done. It may not be hugely obvious. There we go. On temperature quilt, um, I only worked on this like a day or two. Um, when I did, I worked on the columns because I knew that I had to extend them down mm -hmm. um, a little further to keep on going. And so yeah so that's all i got done on this um what i am going to do because now we are at the beginning of april is scroll back to the top again and uh start with the blocks on april and try to keep i did pretty good on march and then the wheels fell off <laughs> so yeah and then um another whip that i worked on was one that i started and showed on the last video which was spin. Um, spin is made out of the letters from pumpkins from Heinzite or Heinzite, Heinzite, however they say it. Um, so I took the letters S P I N and I made my own chart out of it. And so what I wanted to do was um, uh, I finished the blocks, the outline, so that the outline was all done. And I had a little bit of the red thread left, so I just started in on the S. Okay. So this one is done on 28 count Carolina linen. Uh -um. I'm using Classic Color Works Licorice. Yes, Licorice Red as the thread. Nice red. Um, yeah, so that one got a good start on it. Close that up. And then the last one I worked on was I pulled this out because last night I had the, um, last night of course was March 31st. Um, I'm in the group Whip Warriors and one of the games that they have in the main group um, to help prompt you along on working on your whips or new starts or whatever you're doing. Um, is categories. 
So I went through the list and updated, you know, because there's like 12 different um, categories that you can stitch in. I had a couple left and I thought, oh, I can um, whip a couple, I'll see if I can hit all of them tonight. Um, and yeah, that didn't work out. But I did work on one of them. <laughs> so <laughs> the one I did work on was um, Berry Basket Pain Cushion um, by Nikki's Creations. And I pulled this one out because one of the categories is uh, name of designer. And so Nikki's Creations, boom. Um, so I was able to get. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we have a stack of berries underneath the birds, and I was able to get one, two, three, four of them done. Okay. In a half an hour, because I was doing half an hour chunks, because for this particular game, you, um, you didn't need to do a particular stitch count amount. It was just showing that you did progress progress enough that you could see it easily in a picture is basically their criteria um so that's what i did i i thought i can show a lot on this one in half an hour and that's what i did uh, i then moved on to another project um but i started in on it and had to frog a bunch of it and by that time i was tired so it's like there goes that plan <laughs> so so those are all of my whips for today okay. all right so i am back to stitching full coverages in the morning mm -hmm. there was a stretch of about a week where i stopped there was a, an existential crisis regarding the categories and how i was going to finish them and oh yes that whip took over <laughs> so i am back on Rhiannon. This is artwork by Jessica Galbraith, charted by Hayde. This okay. is on 25 count white. I'm leaving it in the thing. Okie dokie. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, and when I get a page finish on this, I'll switch to another one. Nice. And so far, I have put in. Where are you? 622 stitches. That's only three days worth of morning stitching. Nice. So it works for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. This next one is the one that was getting stitched on frantically to try to make up um, stuff in the categories. This is Frozen from Dona Stitch. Is on 16 count antique white Ada. Mm -hmm. Dona Stitch is a Stitch Asia designer, so here we are. Nice. And, oop, up. I stitched 2,850 stitches. Un wow. Wow. So were you. Where did you concentrate that on? I mean, the whole page. Oh, I mean, that whole page. Had, I just had a little little doohickey done up here. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I was going to town. Yeah, you did. Uh, up here, this is the page top. Gotcha. So, I was trucking nice. along. That. Nice. There's that one. And then when I came back from retreat, I was like, oh, I never finished my whip go. So I should finish my whip go. <laughs> which was Cheryl's choice. Yay. Is Sleeping Beauty from Dona Stitch on mm -hmm. 16 count antique white. And I stitched, where are you? 974. It looks so good. And I am working on filling in this page. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to say this again. Color palette is awesome. 
I know. She's got good colors. Mm hmm Very so good. Four pages along the bottom left. Yay! But the two on the ends are not even... They're like quarter pages. Yeah. Uh, the two in the middle are like... Not full pages. Very nice. So... Finish this year. <laughs> yeah, the way that's going, you will. Yeah. In my humble opinion. All right. So, I don't know why I stitched this, but I wanted to, so I did. So, <laughs> this is Nevermore from Leela's Studio. Mm -hmm. It's on 16 count Vertigy. From Fortnite Fabrics, using the called for overdyes. You got that big. I got the big motif done. Motif done. Three hundred and six. Nice stitches. Oh, um, it is popping so well on what my screen. It looks so good. I love stitching on this one. This is just a joy. Yeah. Just a I say that now until I hit that damn big bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make... I'm yeah. writing this down. April 1st, go back to this video. <laughs> Kate loves Nevermore. Kate loves Nevermore. <laughs> yeah. I've got it on film. Yes. All right. So... <laughs> Next, we have Orca from Carolyn Manning Designs. Orca. It's a can count easy guide fabric. Oh, we're so professional floss tubers. I'm assuming Cheryl will have inserted a photo of all of these. Oh, yes. I'm, yes. <laughs> and I stitched 621. Oh, look at that. On it. So good. Yeah. Love it. Stick it to retreat. This is a good retreat stitching piece because I was stitching the diamonds. Yeah, you and did. Diamonds do not, you just pick, you find out what color your diamond is and stitch it. Yep. You don't have to look at a pattern. Yep. Perfect. Easy. Love it. Love it. Hey. All right, so this next one I stitched on because I have this goal because I'm stupid of uh, putting a thousand stitches in on my projects this year except for the ones that are really old and they get 5,000 right but, and then I realized it was going to be the end of March and I'm like how many of these have I gotten done <laughs> well so I started pulling some out to get get them done gotcha <laughs> so this is storied steeds stitch along from Ingleside Imaginarium. It's on 16 count nothing from Mystic Fabrics. And I only needed, I don't know, 200 stitches, but I stitched 357 because I wanted to put the tail in on the Kelpie horse. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I don't know if you can see, but the tail is in Etoile. I'm trying to make it sparkle. Bring it closer to the screen and see. Yeah, no, it's you yeah, you can't really tell it in your light, unfortunately. Or at least I can't. Yeah. But it's good though. Yeah. And it'll look more like a tail after the back stitching. There's a ton of back stitching that needs to be done. Yeah. But I think you were worried about the like the horse colors. Yeah. Showing up on that fabric, and they're definitely showing up. That part for sure. Yeah, they are. I'm happy with that. Good. Oh, heavy, heavy sigh for this next one. <laughs> this is the project that called caused the existential crisis. <laughs> this was supposed to be in my categories last month for stitch along, and I hadn't worked on it in ages. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to do something. Let me not work on the border. I'm going to work on the bl uh, the blocks. I'm going to put I'm going to put some uh, characters in and see how I feel about it. So I pulled out the Fab Fifty Stitch Along by Abby Sue Designs. Oh my word! 
Yeah, this is about half of it. I only had half the frame done. Um, this is on 16 count Ariel from Picture This Plus. It's a nice light blue. And I stitched on, where are you? Kumba. Well, so he green than he does for me. Anyway, so I put in 431 stitches on Pumba and realized I hate this project. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So I put it away, frantically scrambled to figure out what else I was going to be doing, and that's why Frozen got pulled out. Um, maybe it wasn't Stitch Along. Why did... Oh, no, I shuffled things around and used Frozen for something else. Um, I hate UFOing things. I feel like a failure. It gives me angst and <laughs> all the things. This project does not make me happy. I think I could pick and choose a couple of the characters from it and stitch them as smalls, and that would make me feel better. Um but this makes me feel like a failure, but I'm still going to UFO it. I've said it officially. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to cut off the other half of the fabric. And then just use some of the... Just rearrange where they're going. Maybe. No, I mean, like, if there are other characters that appeared on the top half, you're just going to bring them down and use the... The boxes? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There's no I, sense of keeping something that you do not like working on. And it takes a lot for you to not like working on something. It does. Uh, and it's, I don't know. It's not the fabric. I like the fabric. Mm -hmm. I like Picture This Plus fabric. I know people say it's soft and... I can get it tight enough on my, my equipment. Mm -hmm. That sounded really bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we mark this not for children just in case. <laughs> Good idea. Um, so yeah, and it's not the size of it, or maybe it is partly, partly. I don't know. I just, just not in love with it. No. Yeah. So, going to become a UFO. There's not enough. There's not enough time left in my life to stitch things I don't love. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you could always set this aside, and you just never know. You, but I mean, if you know, like I think you've known this for a while on that one. I have. I, I just. just deal with it right and that's why i was making myself stitch the thing my plans were to put like 2,000 stitches into it mm -hmm. i know because you told me about that yeah and uh 430 in i was like oh can't can't I do can't. it so that is a sad note but let's move on to a happier note okay so one of the categories last month was sparkly or has beads so I pulled out Cleopatra from Bella Filipina and another Stitch Asia and I did 492 stitches on Cleo to get her up to over her thousand and this is on 16 count spice by Picture This Plus and kabam. So good. Oh my goodness. So good. Yeah. Every time you show me this picture, my eyes immediately go to the gem in her headpiece. It is yeah. unbelievable. But that, you got up, the you did columns, right? The one on the left? Uh, this column. Yeah, yeah. Which is giving me a little bit of like, is it going to meet at the right spot on the top? Stay tuned for future floss tubes to find out. <laughs> It looks like it's equal so far. We will fudge the damn thing. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not pulling all that out. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. 
She is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I don't pull her out nearly enough, but I say that about everything. But if I want to get my goals done, I have to do my crap. Yeah. And everything. At this point, I know you're only about a third of the way into the year, a quarter way into the year. Are you happy with the goals that you set? Do you see yourself switching them up a little bit? No, I'm committed. Okay. I should be committed. Um, whip go goals. Perfect. I'm not going to change whip go goals. It's okay. always going to be perfect at 500 stitches for the projects. Um, next year, the weighting system is going to be a little different. Mm -hmm. So it's 5,000 stitches for the big projects. I might lower that to three. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I also might include it with um, projects from the next year. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think it's 2020 and under now. And I think I need to make it to 2021 and under. Mm -hmm. um, my issue is, is I really think that... Um, I think Sammy does this. Whatever her goal is, I can't remember what her goal is, but new starts are only 500. And that is genius. And I'm like, God, I have to get a thousand stitches on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That might be one you want to squeeze back on. Yeah. But, um, so the last thing I worked on was another category piece, uh, part of a series. And I just cranked out some more on it to try to lessen how much, I had to get on Cleopatra. Um, and this is Barbara Anna's A Whole A New World Part Two. And I did uh, 1058 stitches on this. Nice. Oh, that looks uh, so good. <laughs> so, and this is one of those ones that I'm gritting my teeth about because this house. And this em empty space. Right there. Right there. That is another house. And then the thing is done. Oh, my goodness. Now, the house in the lower right, left, whatever. The house over here. <laughs> is a big house. It's like 700 stitches. Yeah. The little house, maybe 200. <laughs> But this could be done. Is, is that something you can swerve into the categories for this month? I could, but I'm not going to. Okay. All right. Here ends my whips. <laughs> <laughs> Thus saith. Oh, but let's talk. Okay. A couple of numbers for my numbers, people. Yes. So in the last two weeks... I have stitched uh, 8,463 stitches. Wow. Now, my finished categories for the whole March, my goal was 10,000. I got 10,060 stitches. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good for flailing at the end, trying to figure out because some of the a couple of them were very fixed i couldn't do any more on them it was mm -hmm. like close to a finish and i finished yeah and there's no more stitches there and the other one was the stitch along was autumn walks band sampler and i was completely caught up but i couldn't do anything more right so i really had to maximize <laughs> what i was doing yep gotcha um, but those are my numbers. Very well done. Yay. And we'll talk we'll talk April categories and whip go and plans. Okie dokie. All right. Do we want to talk plans now or do we want to talk um, acquisitions and retreats? Acquisitions and retreat. Okie doke. Go ahead. All right. So I was at the Steel City Stitchers retreat in Pittsburgh. Mm hmm. And ugh. so 
Matt was there, and let's see, Jackie and Justine from X's and Hoes. Um, I also was sitting at a table with Colleen Rebel Stitcher. Nice. Her friend Jen. Nice. A nice lady we met named Pamela. The table next to us had um, Memphis Sarah E. Um, Yamir from Almond M&M's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zan, Crazy Band Lady Stitches. Uh, Leanne, Forbidden Fiber Co. Nice. And I can't remember a couple other people's names. And I'm really sorry. Oh, Bobby from... <laughs> Pumpkin. Oh, Bobby from Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Yeah. She is a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> she is a hoot and a half. Um, so I got there on Thursday. And when I got into the hotel, first person I ran to, into was um, Sarah and Zan. And fun. It was fun. And they were like, do you want to go to lunch? And I was like, I just got here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Um, so they went off to lunch and had their adventures. Um, I unpacked and chilled out for a bit and then went downstairs to the, um, dining area, which didn't open for a while. Right. So we took over, we put together like four tables and, and people were just sitting and stitching. So I met... A bunch of people who I can't remember their names. I did meet Carla from Cobweb Corner. Oh, fun. That's an online needlework shop. Mm -hmm. And Amy, and I cannot, Amy, I cannot remember your Instagram at this moment. And I know we talked about it, that you were following me, and then I went and followed you, and I cannot remember for the life of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's uh, early. <laughs> it is. So Carla and Amy and I were hungry first, so we went off and had dinner at the hotel restaurant first, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, and then I went to bed early. I didn't even wait for Matt to get in. I was like, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which the next day, Friday, we met up for breakfast, and we're chit-chatting, and come to find out that we were... A room apart from each other. Oh gosh, that's funny. <laughs> so I was in six sixteen and he was in six eighteen, and that was very funny. Yeah, you were closer than you thought. <laughs> Way closer than I thought. Um, so we had breakfast, and then um, we went back up to the rooms to get our stuff together because registration was going to open at eight. Um, so a little bit before eight, I you know texted Matt. Hey, what are you doing? When are you going down? And he's like, uh, we already have two tables. Get down here. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, I will be there. Right. Went down, waited in the registration line much faster than StitchCon. Mm. Much, much faster than StitchCon. Um, but then it only, well, I don't know. It had 200 people at it. So. I don't know. It's a hundred people less. I don't know. But in registration, we got our lanyards, and then they gave out... Ooh, let me switch to a big... Yeah. Oh, nice! This very nice big bag. Nice. So inside of this nice big bag, they had the finishing for the oh, right. uh, retreat pattern that you could do. Um, and if you want to see it, go follow Matt at NBC Stitcher, because mm -hmm. I didn't stitch it. <laughs> It's a pump, um, a pickle and a pierogi. <laughs> so also in here is a nice pen. Nice. That Steel City Stitchers on it. And then Leanne from Forbidden Fibers dyed some floss. Nice. In the Pittsburgh Steeler colors. That's great. So that's nice. Uh -huh. So I tried to get in the bag. Yeah, I was just going to say, and the cat came with it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I have to pull out Wegman's bag of acquisitions. Part one. So, I'm trying to make sure... 
and everything is in the right degree of spot. Excellent. All right, so at the retreat, oh yes, okay. <laughs> did she kindness first? Cheryl sent me this. I did, because it matches via, yours. <laughs> via Matt, uh, what do I call him? Carrier pigeon. Carrier pigeon <laughs> Matt, yes. <laughs> so inside of it, I put down a bunch of the stuff that people gave me. Oh, fun. So Memphis Sarah E. made scissor fobs. Nice. Very cute. There you go. <laughs> I'm such a professional. I know where the camera is. <laughs> All right. X's and hoes made turkey floss drops. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so good. It is. You know what? There is a barcode on the back. I want to scan that because I'm not sure what they are sending us to. <laughs> Just, to, yeah, we won't do that on live on camera. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, all right. I cannot remember her name, um, but there's, there's a lady who made needle books for every single participant. Oh, my goodness. Go and pick which one you wanted. So inside is... Oh, that's so cute! Yeah. So very cute. I don't know. I, I give her props, because that is a lot. <laughs> yeah. And they're small and fiddly, and I can't even imagine trying to sew these. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... It's perfect for travel size. Yes. Love that. All right. Mm. Oh, there's my page. <laughs> All right. We also got a schedule for the weekend in that bag. And there's a barcode, a QR code. QR code, barcode. I knew what I was saying. <laughs> QR code with the uh, free patterns. Nice. So I need to go look at those because we got free patterns from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, um, My Studio Creates, so it's MI Studio Creates, Paper Crane Stitches, Cobweb and Rose, and Wrought Iron Stitching. Wow, nice. So I will have to look at those. Yeah, you will. Somebody came around. Did I write down who? No. They made floss drops out of old playing cards. That is such a great idea. What a great way to recycle. Yes, you know, they just took decks of old playing, and you could just pick and choose what you wanted, so I just randomly grabbed some stuff, so I got a golf one. Nice. And this one. Yes. And that one. Cute. You know, like people are so creative. There's people worry, you know, I don't have the materials or if you just invent, invest in a punch, a couple of punches, you can use anything. I use scrapbooking paper. Like I have a ton of scrapbooking paper left over from my, um, scrapbooking days. Um, uh, my aspiratory. Well, no, I just like the paper. I never really got into scrapbooking. And um, I use those and I use Christmas cards. Mm -hmm. I recycle Christmas cards and I use those as well. And um, yeah, there's there's material everywhere. And then you can match them to whatever. You know, a pad of paper on sale from Michael's and a couple punches and you're in like Flynn. And you've got, you know, it's... So cool. So that I've never, I hadn't seen anybody use the playing cards. That's such a great idea. It is. Yeah. All right. Um, Shannon Thomas, who I don't know, but she is at Shannon T Rex on Instagram. Brought around these for the table. I oh love little. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! But they came accompanied with. <gasps> A T-Rex charm. A T-Rex charm. Yes. That's great. Matt was gone at the table, so I made sure he got his in blue. Mm -hmm. 
So super cute. <laughs> Definitely. And and somebody made these wooden pickle floss drops. And this is Haven Stitcher. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So that was almost all of the stitchy kindness. Oops, thought I dropped the T-Rex. Did they do like a smalls exchange? Nope. At that one? No, they didn't do that? Cool. Nope. Yeah, no, that's good. It is good. All right, so sitting at the table behind us, I had mentioned before, was Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. And Leanne brought a whole, almost a whole brown paper shopping bag full of one-offs of her floss. Wow. She was giving away. <laughs> so like over dyes or not quite rights or yes one of a were, kind gems they just didn't the batch didn't turn out like it mm -hmm. was supposed to yeah all right so you're gonna think i was incredibly greedy but i saw the picture of the floss on the floor between you and it was jack no uh, justine right no, no jackie it was like it was a massive pile. <laughs> so, all right, we so. have we have picture evidence. <laughs> Ooh, this is chameleon. Ooh, that's a nice spooky yuki. This is a swamp thing. Ooh, that's nice. Nice. Rasmic Berry. Nice. And yes, I got about six of each. Well, that's good for a good monochromatic piece. I only got four of this one, but <sighs> this is London Fog. Ooh, pretty. Gray, dusky purple. Nice. Ugh, almost done. <laughs> These colors do not surprise me. And Galaxy. Oh, nice. And then I picked up one creepy cute. <laughs> <laughs> one teeny weeny creepy cute. All right, so that's all the free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I went with the intention to buy one needle minder, which was the U Crafty B I T C. U, yes, yeah. On the uh, Rook. Rook's project. So, <laughs> from Grace Notes Fabrics, I got a 16 count fat half of Joy to the World. Pretty. I have to laugh when you said your your goal was just a needle minder, because I remember I knew that you weren't going to go like buy down the house, but I thought you were going to get at least a piece of fabric. I didn't realize in your mind you had restricted yourself to just a needle monitor. I was trying. I was trying. There, <laughs> some, okay. There were a couple of fabrics that they had yards of, and they were not able to cut fabric. And I was like, I'm not buying a whole yard. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, You would have said this if you'd cut it in half. Yeah. <laughs> So this is 16 count Ada, fat quarter Seraphim, and the, the colorway Dusty Road. Nice. Is that like a purpley gray? Yeah. Purpley beige. Purpley beige. Okay. It's got, that's beige with like a little bit of purple through it. Gotcha. Those two... You're at the Steel City Stitchers, you buy a piece of Jody fabric. This is 16 count. It's a fat eighth. Nice. Nice green. It is. And then 
And a 16 count. I don't know who the dyer is. This is Minerva. Ooh, I hadn't opened it up before. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh. Is that it's opalescent? So what's that, a fatty? But this is pretty. Is that opalescent? No. <gasps> I wish I knew who this was. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> When I thought this is what I bought. Oh my! <laughs> open it up so, to enjoy that. <laughs> and then I bought some silk. Because, yes. So this is almond MMs, and this is, I bought two clouds. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Silk or cotton? Silk. Silk. Nice. Silk. And I got a project bag. <laughs> Sitting with Grammy. Oh, yes. I have one of those. Yeah. Okay. I understand. That's too cute. Oh my god, I couldn't. The raccoons! It hurts. And the sloth! Yeah. Ooh, turn it, show the back. Oh yeah, spider web, spiders. That is awesome. magnificent. It was magnificent, and I had to have it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, if you're going to abandon your uh, shopping moratorium, uh, you picked beautiful things. <laughs> I was under two hundred dollars. I'm I'm very proud of you. <laughs> At a retreat, that's pretty damn good. Because mm -hmm. I swear, there's something they pump in that you just are like, I need to buy. Oh wait, you went sweat and bought something. Let me go back up and look. <laughs> right. It's like, I don't know, it's like a shark feeding frenzy. It triggers. <laughs> it's chum in the water. I understand. I totally get it. All right. Are we continuing mine? Oh, yeah, if you want to keep going. Okay, there is a, a lot in the Wegmans bag. <laughs> of acquisitions. All right, so I uh, stash unload. I did a couple charts. Well, no, this was stash unload. And then, then I couldn't. Then they'd already been cleaned. I think you already showed those. Are those did I? the Hawaiian fish ones? Yeah, did I show those last time? Yes. All right, never mind then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fish and the um. There was two. Yes. Yeah, the shell. you did. You did. Oh yes, the shells. Oops. One more thing I bought at Retreat. Okay. Uh, Morticia's second line from Dirty Annie's. <laughs> That's great. I don't think I'm going to do the musicians. I think I just want to do the hearse and the skeleton horse. Yeah. I <laughs> it's so good, though. It is. The second line tradition. Yes. Love it. Okay, so. <laughs> so when I was getting my retreat bag ready, there was a chart in my retreat bag from StitchCon that Cheryl had given me. <laughs> That's correct. So <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I thought I gave you lighthouses. No. Okay. All right, uh, from Tellen Emblem. Uh, this is from Market. I picked up Happy Halloween from Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. Yes. I just really like the colors. It's bright. It's yeah. cheerful Halloween. Cheerful Halloween. <laughs> Ooh. To go with a future project, I now have an otter 
needle minder. And look at how stinking cute they are. That's adorable. Pull yeah. it back a smidge. Yeah. Super cute. All right. So for the otters, I got this on a stash unloading site. Ooh, that's pretty. This is 18 count. Oh. I think it'll look good with all those browns. Oh, the otter pattern. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks like the ocean, like the, the dark the dark water in the ocean. Yes. Uh, yesterday I got my Fabric of the Month Club from Garan Stitchery, which is the Atomic Ranch. Mm-hmm. After the month club, this is 16 count fat quarter vapors. I'm nice. not taking it out. It's just gray. It's pretty. It's just gray. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so last time we talked about the Cricut collection, I think it was open house or something. This is the companion piece. This is three gables. All right. So it's the front of the house mm -hmm. and then the beads, not the beads, the charms. Oh, nice. I got, well, from Cutie Pie Stitch and Sew, Etsy.com. Uh, Cutie Pie Stitch and then there's N and then Sew is S-E-W. Mm -hmm. And from Amazon... Did we show my Amazon stuff last time? Uh, uh, I, I don't stuff? think so. All right. 16 count Ada, 18 by 25. So fat quarter. Icelandic blue. Oh, maybe you did. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. And then Icelandic gray. Because nice. I've always wanted Icelandic ones. Yes. And then one more. Just one more. So I've already pulled this out and I'm doing stuff to it. Uh, so, one of my plans, um, I ordered this for one of my starts. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a fat half of pearl, 16 count mystic fabrics. So, here's the color. Nice. It is stunningly good. That's pretty. And then... Last night I pulled it out to start gritting it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yes, you did. So, yes, I did. And this is going to be for Aragorn. A new start in the future. Yes, this uh, coming month, this month. Oh, it's going to be a start for the next filming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it will. Uh, I, my bag is empty. It, it is. is empty. Well, there you go. Well, I guess I will show mine. Wangman's bag of acquisitions. Heck yeah, I've got my own now, people. <laughs> So let me tell you the story about this. All last weekend, watching pictures, seeing the videos, getting, you know, getting little insights from Matt and Kate. And, and I knew that uh, they had been kind enough to snag me some, a little bit of the Forbidden Fiber Co. Floss. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Can't wait. And, um... So Matt kept saying to me, okay, I need to get this to you. When are you filming next? When are you filming next? And I said, um, this Saturday coming up, but it's okay. Like, you know, he's busy. I'm busy. If we don't meet up, it's okay. Cause no, no, no. I need to get it to you before you're filming. I'm like, uh, okay. All right. And so we were supposed to, we both work in downtown Tulsa. And so we were supposed to meet in my parking lot. <laughs> Uh, we were going to do that yesterday, but I had to leave at four and he couldn't leave. 
So he's like, I have to come down to near your house anyway. So let me come to your house. I'm like, what is like, it's flaw. It's okay. <laughs> like I can wait to get my floss later. So he gets out of the car and he says, I'm here. So I'll, I have to go out the door cause he doesn't come to my door and ring the bell. So I go out and he's standing there and he's, it's obvious he's holding something behind his back. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Because I have to get Kate on the video. <laughs> I want her to see your face when you see this. I'm like, what are you doing? So then he whips around and it's my very, very own Wagsman's bag of acquisitions. And I'm super excited. Now I have one too. <laughs> that was like the best present ever. <laughs> oh gosh. And in it, there was uh, one of the, um, this is the little gift you had made up, right? Yeah, I gave those as table gifts. Table gifts. So she made one for me, and it's in red, because she knows I love a good. I assembled it. Vicki Gable at Stitch and Button. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Vicki made the... This part, and then you put some fun things in it. So in it is um, some sticky notes, because you always can use those while you're at. And I almost lost these, by the way. Um, a couple, whoops, I'm going to switch me out to, there we go. Some, a couple threaders, which are good, because I'm going to assemble a traveling bag of things. Accoutrement. Accoutrement. We, oui, yeah. Stitchy things. Stitchy you things. <laughs> yes, a traveling bag of stitching things. There you go. And then my stash of forbidden fabric floss. And oh, where can you, uh, it is the creepy cute. I got the rest of the creepy cute. It's a magenta. At first, when I looked at it, I felt really bad, by the way. I want to apologize out loud. I thought these were pink. <laughs> and I was like, why did you give me pink? But it wasn't. They're magenta. And they're, it's very, very beautiful. So this will be definitely great for a nice monochromatic thing. So there you go. And then when I dug a little further past the floss... Kate was kind enough to send me two little things. One, the Crafty U exclusive original needle minder, which makes me laugh. And then this one that makes me laugh harder. I'll let y'all read it. Closer. Uh, 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 uh. Down. There you go. Yeah. For those of you who don't want to cuss around your kids, here you go. <laughs> I saw it and I laughed because <laughs> a lot of times I am. Um, and you can guess which one. Um, so yes, so that was a very, very, very nice surprise. And um, our carrier pigeon, Matt, was very pleased with himself. <laughs> he did good. Yes, he did very, very good. So yeah, so now I have a little, con uh, I'm just, I'm very excited about this. I'm extraordinarily excited about a grocery bag. Okay. So the things that I came across was I received my um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Spring uh, Magazine. And um, I get the digital version. And there was a couple of designs in there that I thought were pretty cute. Um, one was Hello Spring by Cherry Hill. It is cute. It's kind of cute. And um, Christmas. What's that? But it's not Christmas. I know. <laughs> I thought this one was pretty cute. Friends are the flowers of life. And you can um, arrange it. Like, you can do your own color palette. I just thought that was kind of cute, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, another thing, 
I don't do punch needle, but a lot of the patterns could be converted to rug hooking, which is something I am doing a little bit on the side. Um, and the other thing that I really like about this magazine is that it finishes things in different ways that I don't necessarily think about. And so I printed this one off because I just thought this was adorable. Like the pattern is affixed to the container that you put the arrangement in. Oh, that is cute. Right? And it's just like, well, that's so simple and makes sense. You know, I've seen the hanging pouches, but I never thought to put it on like a, like a metal can or something like that to use for an arrangement. I just thought that was really cute. So that's one of the things I, I like about this um, magazine is they finish things differently. <laughs> it gives something, you know, when I decide to finish, fully finish some things, I have like some inspirational things. And also, um, every once in a while, well, I guess she's doing it in every, um, Vanna from the Twisted Stitcher who does, who is a professional finisher, um, gives some instructions on different methods to fully finish something if you want to try and do it yourself. She's very thorough and very, um, very, very specific and descriptive. So it's possible to be, and pictures, there's a lot of pictures. Um, so if you ever want to try it yourself, um, that's available too. So yeah. Um, then I got notice that a silk floss was in that I need for an upcoming birthday start, my Gloriana thread. So it's just a silk. It's just a, like a gray silk. Um, it came with a pattern um, that I'm not going to show yet <laughs> because um, it is um, planned to be the very last um, start for my birthday start along, which will be on my birthday in 2023 in October. So you're like, Cheryl, why are you getting in this now? Well, because... I need to plan <laughs> and it's a bit of a beast so I needed it now so I can start assembling things towards it so anyways but that part's gonna be a surprise and then while you were getting um, the Halloween chart from Tell an Emblem through Sammy at um, Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery I was getting I'm shocked the Merry Christmas <laughs> <laughs> so shocked so shocking um i have a lot of cardinal patterns now so it has to do like yeah i i'm a little more um and you know this because you've sent some to me and i don't always like them i've gotten really specific about which ones i buy now and this one immediately appealed to me and i i also love the small that came with it mm -hmm. so anyways so i got that thank you sammy for getting that for me. Um, I also, I think in the last video, I talked about getting the floss for the Stitch the Rainbow, the, um, the tea time um, theme for this spring. And I uh, was using um, silks from Trinway Silks. And I got the ink circles pattern. And then this uh, last two weeks, I got the Mad Hatter's Wonky Tea Time Sampler by our friend Bart at Park Hopper Bot Bart. I always say his design name wrong. It's just fun. It's the Mad Tea Party from Alice in Wonderland inspired. So I got that. And then, of course, while I was there, you can't just get one. The Shakespeare Valentine. I thought I could use... The rest of the Trenway Silks palette and adapt it and use them up on that as well if I have any left over. So nice. Um, Bart sells his designs on Gumroad. Um, so if you go in there and look for Park Hopper Bart designs, you can see he's got some really, he's inspired a lot by um, the classics 
um, both music and literature and things like that with a little twist, which I love. And he's a great guy. Um, like you said, Autumn Band Samplers, the next chunk came out. So there's that. And then um, I had been looking at these for a while on Vicky Stitch and Buttons. Um, what's the word I'm using? Facebook, Facebook. group where she um, lists most of her bags. And they were sitting there for a while long enough that I need, decided I need to get them. I did want one that was uh, kind of winter themed. So this is the first one, the penguins. Uh, glad you got the penguins. I was looking at that one. Yeah, and the inside is sparkly. Sparkly, mm -hmm. you can't really tell in this light, but it's all zhuzhed up and sparkly. And then the other one I got while I was there was the woodland one using the Teresa Coquette fabric. Twinsies. Twinsies. I like, uh, yeah, the reindeer <laughs> and the fox. Well, it's just, this is just great fabric. And then she picked a, like a moth. Oh, you can't really tell because of the glare. Ah. Ah. Can you see? Anyways, it's, no. um, it's a moth print. Subtle, very subtle moth print. It's really pretty. So there you go. Now I got notification yesterday. I sent a bunch of fabric um, as part of my birthday start along. Um, I knew that I wanted some uh, bags um, made for some specific projects. Um, I, I'm not going to bag them all unless well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to have 104 starts if I do all all the ones that I have planned. And um, so I and I only had a few bags, so I'm, I'm not investing in that many. But um, she's making me some. And I, I got note uh, last night that the first four are done. And I saw a picture of them, and they're so pretty. Yay. The reds. I'm shocked. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so I'm excited to, to get those. So I'll show those in a future video. So yeah, those were ones that I, I guess you can say commission them. She does do special orders and, um, and you can provide fabric and she'll put them together for you. And so it's cool. Mm -hmm. So so wait for those. Okay. That's it. Um, I need to back up a minute. Um, I kind of got distracted with the haul that I forgot to mention. I just wanted to say that I had one of the best weekends of my life at that retreat. I laughed until I thought I put a rib out. <laughs> I got a message saying, I think I've laughed my rib out of place. <laughs> yeah. It was very painful. Yes. Um, it's better now. So I think it, it's fine. But, um, yeah, that it was so much fun and just had a blast. Um, and I would like to give a very big thank you to Jody, Kristen, Erica, and Aaron of the Steel City Stitchers. You guys put on a wonderful retreat. Not that you watch us, but you put on one heck of a retreat. And I will be back next year. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, just based on, like Matt went last year. And you weren't able to because of the weather. Oh, yeah. And COVID numbers. And I COVID, was yeah. And then just hearing about it then and then hearing both y'all stories has convinced me that I would like to try and see if I can't make it next year. It just sounds um, more fun. Um, I appreciate I. It sounded like a smaller group, and I think I'd be... We'll see. But it sounded like something that I would like to see if I can make next year. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's talk about our plans. Okay. <laughs> plan in quotation marks. Because I had great plans last night and they worked so well. 
Mm. All right. Yes. So, Whipgo calls for April. Yes. One of them is Owl Forest. Yay. <laughs> the other one is Laurel got to choose. Second time. She's just wiped out herself off the board now. <laughs> and um, she chose Midnight Hunting, which is my dragon. Oh, nice. So 500 stitches on both of those. Uh, so the categories for April. Mm-hmm. I narrowed my goal down in April to 5,000 stitches, and I have picked all things that need 1,000 on them. So, so number one is monochromatic, and I'm going to do 1,000 on Reflections of Norway. Ooh, yay! From Ink Circles. Number two is part of a series. I'm going to pull out Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. Ooh! <laughs> See what I can get with 1,000 on that. Mm-hmm. Number three is a small. I have one small. I was going to say, I can send you one if you need it. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. And it's called Namaste Witches, number one. And um, there's not even a thousand stitches in that pattern. So I'm going to finish it. <laughs> it's like 800 and change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. <laughs> That's funny. Number four is Has Words, and I'm going to pull out Stars Bright from Lindy Stitches. Oh, yeah. Uh, ages. That's a good one. I, Stars Bright might need 5,000 for the year. It's old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and number five is Less Than Ten Colors, and that is going to be Anzac. Because the way I'm doing Anzac, this is my restart of Anzac. Yeah. Is only three colors. So it's New Zealand is going to be a green. Australia is going to be a reddish brown. And everything else is a dark blue. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That'll be good. Figure out the delineations of the continents. Right. Well, New Zealand continent, but. Right. Ooh, that's going to be good. I'm excited. And then just uh, normal crap. <laughs> keep, going crap. My, um, okay. keep going with my, keep going with my, you know, full cover stitching in the morning and try uh, the new part of Autumn Lane should be coming out shortly. And I'm so far behind on that. <laughs> You're gonna but I've done a thousand stitches on it, so I can't justify in my mind picking it back up just yet. I got to get some more done. Are you okay. gonna do um, the autumn band sampler? Are you gonna save that for the next time it makes sense in your categories? I think I'll save it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're caught up. There's not very many left yeah. to go. No. Yeah. And I caught up on three parts in less than a week. Yeah. Very good. Okay, okay. Okay, so is that all your plans? Well, I'm planning a new start on April 13th. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, insert a photo here. <laughs> I'm going to start Aragorn on that fabric that I'm gritting. I put all the DMC on floss drops last night, and I'm missing one color. So that's not bad. No, that's not bad at all. I got it in Pattern Keeper, and I chose April the 13th because I just was looking somebody who is way more nerdy than I am <laughs> figured out what dates all the things happened in Lord of the Rings in our calendar. Okay, and that's awesome. <laughs> like, I'm going to go with it. And I was looking, because I was looking for what do I, can I, can I find a reason? Can I find a date to start Aragorn? Yes. In and um, April 13th, Frodo and Sam leave the Shire with the ring. There you go. So, Boom. Yeah. Nice. And to me, that sort of starts the whole thing off, starts the journey. And yeah. So I'm going to do that. I think that sounds like a great plan. The Otter's going to be in May. <laughs> yes. And then there was another one, right? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so those are the two you know for sure that you're planning on is the otter and the yeah yeah okay very yeah. good. The otter I'm going to do with Sebastian from Bees and Teas. Mm. Um, I strong armed him into buying it and told him when we were starting it. Yeah, there was he it, asked for what day, so I found a Friday and said, "How about this?" And he was like, "Yeah, that's fine." <laughs> Yes, there was shockingly um, very little resistance to this. All you have to do is flash an otter. Otter, <laughs> otter, otter. Yeah, good. Tell me the date. <laughs> it's a great pattern, too, by the way. I'm excited when you show that one. It is so confetti heavy. It's so, it's so freaking cute, though. Oh, my gosh. And it's in Pattern Keeper, so that's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, so that's helpful, too. Yeah, It's only 100 by 200. only and at the top you know diagonal thingy is not stitched yeah so yeah i found that dark blue yeah it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be very pretty i'm excited excited to see that one okay what are so your plans my plans well like you said whip go was pulled <coughs> both of the numbers for april landed on the same thing for me which is um, the holiday tree skirt that I'm doing for my mother. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. And uh, so I was like, well, I'm really glad I found that hoop. I guess I'm going to be stitching on it. Um, so the way I do my whip go goals is three hours um, because I time my stitching. Um, three full hours of stitching on whatever I'd either do, um, pick. I have a couple categories, um, but I also have two or three very specific whips that I want to get time in on, and the holiday tree skirt is one of them. So um, what I have decided to do, and I think I've talked about this before, but I've actually figured out how it's going to look in April is that I've decided that um, I'm behind a little bit on WIPCO, but that's okay um, because it's to get them done by the end of the year. It's nice to get them done in the month they're called, but I have I got behind on that too. Shocker. Um, so what I'm doing is there's four weekends in April. Let me look. One, two, three, four, five. There's five weekends in April. There you go. So... What I'm trying to do is I have WIPCO to focus on and I have a project that I am doing that I'm keeping on the down low off of social media until it's done. Um, and I split that project up into, I need to get them done by the end of October if possible. So I had to split it up to see how many stitches I needed to do per month <laughs> on this particular project. So I figured out that if I, um, on the weekends, I go have a whip go focus weekend and then my special subterfuge project weekend and alternate so that I can get some work done on a, the whip go focuses and maybe knock some of them out and then also get the stitches in I need per month on my special project. So every other weekend I'm going to put time in on whip go or the project and then try to catch up on any starts or catch up on the birthday start along stuff that I want to do. This weekend I have three I have to catch up on. <laughs> so You know this whole work thing really gets involved it gets in the way of our stitching. It does. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. And this past week I found I ended up dragging a lot on one of my starts and it took me longer um, to get it to a place where I could um, move on to the next one and it kind of threw my schedule off because but like I said um, this coming week um, I'm off Thursday and Friday so I'm hoping that some of that time will be 
stitching time and to get caught up and back on schedule. Jerry, here's what I got for your birthday. I'm going to go stitch for five hours and I'm <laughs> much happier. Well, that's <laughs> like th Thursday is his day. <laughs> Uh, Thursday, we both took off and we're going to go see a movie, but that's going to be in the evening. So I'm not hundred percent sure if there's other things he wants to go do on his birthday. And then if I had, I get some extra time in, um, stitching on Thursday, I'm not expecting to, um, but Friday I will. So, cause the only thing I have planned for Friday is, um, like Good Friday service, and that's an hour. So, and we'll probably watch it online. So, there you go. So, that's the only thing I have scheduled for Friday. So, I plan on getting a chunk done then. So, okay. Yeah. So, that's the plan. But, yeah, <laughs> I have to resist the temptation. Oh, I took a day off for you and then toddle off to go to Sitch. <laughs> I think that's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> I'll let them know. Kate says that I can stitch on your birthday. That's her gift to you. <laughs> Why don't you stitch on the dragon that you're making for him? That I was thinking about doing like um, Wednesday night, the night before. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, his birthday is two, three, four. It's Tuesday. Um, but I was thinking about doing that on Wednesday because it's really close to being done. I just have to finish off the tree line, and then we have the knight, right, mm -hmm. holding up the shield. Um, oh, and then the moon. I might be able to get it done for his birthday. We'll see. You'll get it done by next birthday. I'm hoping it'd be done by Christmas. <laughs> Since it was his Christmas presents from last year. Uh, the Christmas present, it, it got framed. <laughs> What a, what about get it done by July 25th? Give it to him for Christmas in July. Ooh, that's a good idea, too. That's a good idea. We'll see. Thank you for adding to my plan. <laughs> you are most welcome. I appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> I do. I Like, I looked at it, uh, you know, when I was scanning through my pictures to answer EJ's question, I, I like I looked at it and I was like I got way more done on this than I thought <laughs> and uh, yeah that one is close that you know if I want to just get a finish and you know mm -hmm. that would be one of the first ones I'll probably go to because it's almost it's very close to being done so there you go yeah so that's my plan I mean yeah and we'll see if I can keep up with um categories again this month the the letter is h um so i i started filling in some of the categories and we'll see i was you know um however many i get done i get done it's not a make it or break it for me but it's it's nice to use that as a motivator so but yeah, so there you go. That's it. All right. Um, I think we're done. I think we're done too. It's mm -hmm. a mess. <laughs> yeah, no, right? Uh, yeah, we're done. All of my piles have been moved from where they started to <laughs> where they are now. <laughs> so we're done. <laughs> I still have a cat in my lap. Oh, <laughs> they were all around today. Well, no, Katniss didn't come in, and Jake's sound asleep in his crate. Oh. There you go. Okay. Well, I think that's it. So thank you, everybody, for taking some thank time you. to watch us. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. I don't know. Do all the YouTube-y things. YouTube Comment. Mm -hmm. We love comments. Comments and questions are fun. So, yeah. It's it always and, amazes us when people tell us they like us and, <laughs> and we don't know you. So. I know. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs>
I got a little bit of that at retreat because people knew who Stitchy Yardvark was sometimes when I was talking to them. And I was just like, good God, somebody knows me? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a very distinctive name. It sticks out. Mm. Yeah. Not everybody is an Yardvark. No, no. It's very special. <laughs> it is. Yes. Yeah, no and the story of the Yardvarks will remain a story that is not told on this channel. No, nope, that's correct. <laughs> I've heard it. Yeah. It'll stay where it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, congratulations again to our um, the winners of our giveaway. We will be in touch. Yes. Right. All right. Well, we'll say goodbye. Happy stitching, everyone. Happy stitching, Happy Kate. April. Mm-hmm. Bye.